The EU's top court has cancelled two agriculture and fishing agreements between the bloc and Morocco, which allow the country to export goods produced in the disputed Western Sahara territory. The ruling seized the Polisario Front, the Sahrawi People's Independence Movement, that brought the case to the European Court of Justice as a legal person and concludes that the EU hadn't secured the consent of the people of the Western Sahara. The decision could put at risk trade relations between Brussels and Rabat, but the two partners have already tried to calm any fears with a statement saying that they will take the necessary measures to guarantee the continuation and stability of trade relations between the European Union and the Kingdom of Morocco. The Polisario Front says the ruling is a victory in their long fight for independence. The two agriculture and fishing agreements will stay in place for at least two more months, just enough time to appeal the ECJ's ruling. If the European Union reproduces, for example, the same scheme of the past and decides to introduce an appeal against today's decisions, this would also be a bad message for Morocco. This can be interpreted as a carte blanche to carry out the policies that we all know and which have led not only to the failure of the peace process in Western Sahara, but also brought the entire region to the brink of collapse. The Western Sahara is a disputed territory located in southern Morocco. It's a former Spanish colony and Rabat considers it as part of its own country. Morocco and Spain are the countries most affected by the ruling. On the fishing agreement alone, the North African country is set to lose around 52 million euros annually for four years in exchange for allowing 128 vessels from 11 European countries fishing in the waters off the Western African coast. Christopher Pitches, Euronews from Brussels.